I Love Stocks, where we're passionate about trading and your financial success. So we're going to talk about GILD, G-I-L-D. But first I want to bring you through the graph here. There's been 1.700,015, 143 total confirmed. Total death rate right now is at 103,879. Rest in peace. And we have a total recovery recovery rate of 389,374. The daily increases have really popped up during the month of March and we're kind of, I think we're kind of seeing a little leveling out for right now. We did have a, a lower high on the last one that happened back here on 4320 and right now this is the last number here at 4920 and it is down a little bit so we're going to see if this can start to lower down and flatten out a little bit and I think part of the market run due to the 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 talk about oil and then the liquidity that has been pumped in the market the bigger catalyst is watching this graph start to level out and come down and I do uh, feel for the people that know anybody that has had contact or know somebody that has had corona and especially somebody that that's friends with somebody that has passed away with Corona. And I bless your all's hearts. So let's get to talking about the stock itself. Now I pulled up the website here and I'm going to pull up uh, Wahoo Finance and see if we can find any news on it. But Guild's Press, you can go to their website under the newsroom and you can read the, the for one, on the 10th today, an open letter from our chairman and CEO came out. And he spoke a little bit about what's going on and that uh, they had to run a test and that two thirds of, their, of the people that run the test showed major improvements. And these were people that were really bad off with the Corona infection. So that there's a good sign that Guild might have a good pop this week because we did kind of pull back last week and I'll show you the chart here in a moment. And let me bring up the website alone and let's bring up Wahoo Finance and see if we can find anything. Well, let's go back to the uh, to the news on the on Guild here. Yeah, so the innovation, ramping up manufacturing to help address the uh, COVID-19. So that, that that's good and they're committed, you know, still with cancer patients. And then I read down here on the 8th came out that uh, Guild announces $20 million in Perlamphathy uh, fund to support nonprofit organizations impacted by the COVID-19 crisis, which I thought was very impressive for them to do. Allowing, you know, also trying to work on a drug too, that, which is a big deal to me. But yeah, it's called the COVID Acute Relief and Emergency Support. And they've donated $20 million to help them nonprofit organizations out. So let's give thumbs up to Guild. I think that's pretty cool. And then we're going to go back and see if we can find any more news here. The biggest transfer began. We see two thirds of the COVID 19 patients improve after Guild's drug. I think it's in stage three right now, trial. There's some more news about it. Talking about the successful trial. So that's all over the news on the 10th. And then they talk about the deaths in Italy. It shows efficiency among small groups of patients. Yeah, see that's, that's really in the news there. So let's go straight to the chart. I went ahead and cleared it up. There we go. This is a yearly chart. We've had a yearly resistance right around here, right around this 6943 area. Guild's one of my top stocks of the trade. You know, we've, we've had a little channel of resistance and support right in here, right between the 6243 and the 6938 for most of the year. And then when the crisis start to come out you could see that started to pop up and then we have some huge engulfing candles on the daily so this is one that can be traded very well in the option land and also 
you, if you get it into support, you can scalp it for four or five bucks also. So we're going to try to find some resistance level. It's kind of hard because of all these engulfing candles, but I'm going to magnify this up a little bit, see if I can find me some real good spots in here where I think a pivot point in this channel is. You see how it kind of up, kind of shows that we did have a good high right here at 85.97, and then she popped down pretty much back to that yearly support level of 69.38 many a times. And this is on a daily. And then we, last week, we've proven to have higher lows for the last couple of weeks. We've had higher lows. And that, that's good evidence that we are starting to see another pivot point area and we're getting ready to squeeze again. And I've got another resistance, and I'm going to call this the pivot point of the channel. And I'm going to turn that into a red line. So that's going to be the pivot point. And we're going to just go ahead and get that in there right now and get that over with. Then I'm going to draw another resistance level, which I think is going to be right around this $76 mark. And then we could raise it up to right around this probably $78. And then I've got a long right around the $80 level. And that's right here right around the $80.15. But we're going to drop it down just a little bit to $79.44. We've had all these connections right in here. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight connections right there in that. Or let me go up a little higher, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there at that 79.44 with a long target of right around 80.92. And this is all would be a gift, but if they do come out with some more news this week, which I think they will, we'll start to see this trail back up. We had a pretty good sell-off for the last three days on this, on this chart right here, and then I'm going to put another one right in, I'm thinking right about, right about here. 77.29. So let's pull this up to the 20 day and get a better glance at it and try to find a low support. I think strong buy is going to be right around the 72 if it pulls back. That's going to be your probably your second support level. And then we have this first one right here at 73.11. And this has had a pretty good little pullback. Let me see, right there looks good. Right there at 73. We, you know, we, we had a good breakout on, on Monday, and then she pulled back, and we had higher lows. And let me do, draw this up with a trend line. And that's the kind of the trend line resistance that we need to get to. And that's going to be from this right here. And we're going to play off the candles. Kind of hard to see, so let's change this. Let's not make it here. We'll bring it down to this base right here. Right there, it runs right into that 34 EMA. And I've got the three different moving averages that I'm using is the two, four different is the 200, the 100, the 34, and the 9 EMA, along with the TTM squeeze chart. And I've got this set up for the trend and also got it set up on the Fibonacci's. And I don't think I used the Fibonacci one. Yeah, I did. Pretty sure I did. I don't know why they're not on here, but. We'll pull this back up, probably because there they are, right there. So we got a 50% retracement on the 20-day, right here, right around the 75.19 area. And I can see that with this trend right here. Let me pull this up. It's a little more evident right there. Nope. And got to get them right things on there. Right about... 75.29. So this is how we're going to look at the trade. Let's pull this 20 day up one more time. We've got a lower support right around the 72 area. A strong buy here at 69. I mean, if it does dip down there, I think we're going to start to retrace back up. We do have kind of, kind of like a, 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 a support level right here at the, at that 73.88 pivot point on the 20 day chart and that's to stay in this channel so let's see if we can break past that 7388 and break that resistance level that's next at 7529 and we'll get up here to right around that 78 to the 80 dollar level and that'll be a place where you might want to go ahead and exit 
but this is going to be guild i'm going to repeat this one more time real strong buy down here you probably have a little support area right in here too at that 70 58 area so strong buy there at 69.38. Then you got your three resistant, your three support areas, 78.58, 72.01, which I think is probably going to be the entry if it does pull back. And then your first support right here at 73. And then the pivot point on the 20-day chart, which it decides if it wants to pull back or break out of resistance. And that's going to be the 75.29. And we can jump it right up to the 76 area and then just keep on moving up. With a hard sell, I'd say a hard resistance level, unless we get some real good news out of the company, we can break it up to these newer highs and try to hit that 8438 area for a long trade. But with the sell off that we had last week, it looks to me like that was kind of a descending pattern. And then Thursday came and it just sold off and kind of sit there. And then the letter, the news that's coming out with the uh, with with two thirds of the patients recovering plus the uh, CEO letter that came out. I think we're going to start to pop back up on this thing this coming week, and that's going to be G I L D. Please subscribe, smash that like button, ring that bell for future updates. Vegas and I'll get on here and do videos. And we really wish everybody a happy trading week. And we feel we have real strong feelings for what's going on. And this economy will start to change. Also hit this little Twitter. If you're not familiar to our channel, you can hit this little Twitter button right here. Hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. And it's just very interesting. And then also we have on the same web page, we do have our stock Twitch pages. Pinterest and anytime you want to go to our YouTube channel you can hit this button right here and it'll take you and we have previous videos that we have on here some learning videos I did a live session yesterday lasted about two hours talking about supports and pivot points and resistances and I picked stocks out that you all like and I try to look at them and tell you my opinion on them so I do that I'm trying to get that down once a week at least for a two hour session and I wish everybody a great day. Also, let me see. I have anything else to say? Yeah, just subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button. And everybody have a great day.